proper freestyle swimming, the head moves with the body to take the breath. It never moves independently. You don't want any lifting of the chin to take a breath. You don't want any looking forward or to the side of the pool to take a breath. You want to rotate your head in line with your body and take the breath in the natural rotation of the body. A good key for you young swimmers is to try to take your breath with one goggle in the water. I know you're going to say, well, that will only let half my mouth out of the water, but that's not true because if your head is in the right position, there's a bow wave that's going to be formed on your head and you'll be actually taking your breath with the full mouth inside that bow wave. Watch Michael take a breath. You're going to see one goggle out of the water. You're going to see about half his mouth, but he's actually breathing inside the bow wave. One of the things I notice about Katie sometimes is she will over rotate and you'll see both goggles on the breath. So one of the things we're working with her on is to be able to just have one goggle showing and to minimize the head rotation. That way your head and body move together. If you can see your whole face on a breath or you're looking up to the ceiling when you're taking your breath, I call it checking the weather, you're going to be over rotating from your head and you're not going to be moving in unison with your body. So that's something you can work on that's very easy but very, very critical to your freestyle stroke. I'm often asked what kind of breathing pattern swimmers should use in freestyle. And my answer is they need to have a variety of options to use for different conditions. I think younger swimmers need to learn how to breathe on both sides, bilateral breathing. I think as you get older, you're going to be wanting to have more air and you're also going to want to have more rotation in your stroke. So it's advantageous then to breathe on one side more than once. So if you'll watch Michael swimming, he may breathe to the left side for a 25 meters in practice and then he'll flip and when he comes back he'll breathe on his right side for 25 meters so that he's getting symmetry in the breathing but he's also breathing every stroke so he gets more air and he's also rotating more because when you take a breath you're rotating more than on the strokes where you don't breathe. Essentially we want swimmers in freestyle to be on their side as much as possible because you're much more streamlined in that position than when you're lying flat.